A mother visits her daughter in the morgue in order to say goodbye and makes a remarkable discovery. The discovery shocked the entire world. Sandra, from Argentina, had already given birth to four children when she became pregnant with her fifth child. It was expected to be a girl, and Sandra and her partner Martin hoped that this pregnancy would proceed smoothly. However, unfortunately, in the 26th week of her pregnancy, she went into labor. Consequently, she rushed to a hospital in northeastern Argentina as soon as possible. It was premature for the baby to be born, but nevertheless, it happened. Little Amelia was born on April 8, 2017, almost three months premature. She weighed only one and a half kilograms, and the worst part was that she did not seem to be breathing or exhibiting any signs of life. Doctors attempted to resuscitate her with the assistance of a neonatologist, but they were also unable to find any positive results. Signs of life in the newborn. Amelia was born dead, and this was officially announced and a death certificate was issued. Her delicate little body was wrapped in cloth and placed in a small wooden coffin. Sandra was under anesthesia during delivery, and she was informed about what happened when she awoke. The woman was deeply saddened and could not believe she had lost her daughter. All events took place very quickly. She felt a strong urge to see her little daughter, to make sure she was truly not alive, and to take a photograph for the funeral service. She told her husband and brother what she wanted, and persuaded them to accompany her to the hospital mortuary. Together, they obtained the doctor's approval for this act. More than 12 hours had passed since Amelia's birth. As they proceeded to the mortuary, Sandra prepared mentally for this moment. She was still weak. After giving birth, can you imagine how the mother felt? No parent should ever have to experience the emotions of losing a child. Sandra and her partner Martin found Amelia's tiny coffin in the morgue. When Sandra bent over the box, she gazed at her baby's small body and gently touched her hand. Then, Sandra carefully removed the cloth from Amelia's face, and the unthinkable occurred. The woman suddenly heard a soft cry and saw her daughter's large, bright eyes gazing at her. Shocked she leaped back and said, it's my imagination. Amelia awoke in front of them, as if to say, Mom, I knew you would come for me. Everyone was stunned. How could this be possible? While Sandra and her husband stood paralyzed, Sandra's brother reacted quickly. He seized the child and rushed to the newborn ward with her. After the astonished doctors confirmed that the infant was alive, Amelia was taken to the intensive care unit. It was necessary to provide warmth, oxygen and nutrition for her small body as well as conduct tests to determine if the time in the morgue cooler had caused any harm. Along with these measures, it was essential to answer the primary question, how could such an event occur? After undergoing treatment, Amelia's parents attempted to cope with this emotional ordeal. They believed they had lost their daughter, but gradually came to the realization that she was still alive. I cannot explain what happened, said her father Martin. It's as if God performed a miracle. The doctors also had no explanation for what had occurred. An investigation into the incident has been initiated at the hospital, with the aim of determining if anyone could be held responsible for this unfortunate error. Personnel involved in the incident are accountable and must be held responsible, stated Juan Rodriguez, Deputy Minister of Health for the Chaco region. Meanwhile, Emilia's condition in the intensive care unit stabilized, and it was decided that she would be transferred to a hospital in Buenos Aires, which has a specialized non-anthrology department with the latest equipment. A few days later, there was a new scare when Amelia stopped breathing. Due to a hemorrhage in her lungs, her heart stopped, and complex cardiopulmonary resuscitation was needed. This incident caused irreparable damage to the girl's brain functions, and her parents were informed that only 10% of her brain remained functional. Amelia spent the next eight weeks in the hospital in Buenos Aires. Each day, she became stronger and gained weight. Soon, she was able to consume her mother's breast milk, which is always a positive sign. Unfortunately, her father Martin could not handle the situation and left Sandra and their children alone. Sandra had to take care of everything by herself. Ultimately, after. After many months of anxiety and excitement since her difficult birth, Emilia was finally strong enough to return home to her mother. Sandra had been with her daughter throughout this time and felt like she had a true miracle in her arms as she brought her home. However, Emilia was still in a fragile state, and over the next year and a half, she developed several health complications and experienced developmental issues. It was clear that her prematurity, spending 12 hours in a cold environment, and experiencing cardiac arrest had taken a toll on her small body. Sandra provided all the care and love she could for her little girl, 
even though it was difficult and she was not a wealthy woman. After several assessments, it was determined that Amelia suffers from microcephaly, a condition in which the head and brain do not fully develop, and this can only be treated through stem cell transplantation, which is a difficult process. Additionally, this treatment is very expensive. Sandra did not have enough money for it, but she considered the possibility of taking the child to China for treatment. She launched a fundraising campaign, despite doctors' warnings that Amelia might not be strong enough for the journey. At the end of June, Amelia had another cardiac arrest, and Sandra took her to the hospital. The girl was hooked up to a ventilator, but her condition remained critical for several hours. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation was no longer effective. Her little heart finally gave out, and the child died. This was heartbreaking for Sandra. I can't imagine how she felt after losing her daughter a second time, this time forever. In light of her loss, Sandra shared a deeply moving public farewell letter with the world. She wrote, Today my love, we aren't saying goodbye, for one day we'll see each other again. Again, she wrote that she felt grateful for every moment they spent together. God gave me life at this time, and I can assure you that the last year, three months, and fifteen days with her have made me the happiest person on this planet. She told everyone that she believed Amelia had a special purpose on this earth. One day, a man approached her and said that he wanted to commit suicide, but when he saw Amelia, he wondered why he couldn't do it. I have goosebumps, and I wish Sandra and her family all the strength during this difficult time. Dear viewers, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Good day.